another day, another terrible news review. Oh, how I grow tired of these. Hello and welcome to Drew's News Reviews. I'm Drew Van Dyke and here's what's happened in this week's news. I can already tell that today is the same as yesterday and the day before that because of the name of this review. The Chillicothe City Council approved a measure on Monday that would amend the current city's public nuisance code. The City Council voted on Monday night 3-2 to two, to approve a measure to place gate-like traffic redirection structures just south of the Chillicothe High School. <coughs> Warrensburg Senator David Pierce visited with the Chillicothe Rotary Club last Friday at the Chillicothe Country Club. The Chillicothe Fire Department announced earlier this week that in 2011 they responded to approximately 120,000... The Chillicothe Fire Department reported earlier this week that in the year 2011, they traveled over 120,000 miles and responded to over 2,000 emergency calls. The Livingston County Clerk's Office will be open this Saturday from 8.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. for absentee ballot voters to come in and vote. This is for the Missouri presidential primary and regular voting will take place on Tuesday, February 7th. The Community Blood Center held a community blood drive at the Chillicothe United Methodist Church on Thursday. <sighs> Bentley M. was the winner of the CT's Cutest Baby Contest. Voting was held between December 29th and January 13th. Nothing? Nothing? We don't, we don't have anything for... I'm wearing a diaper right now. Just trust me on that one. That? Okay. Oh no, this is going horribly. I guess I'll go to sleep and hopefully I won't wake up in the same day again and have to repeat it and be able to fix all of my mistakes. The Livingston County Sheriff's Office recently announced The Livingston County Sheriff's Office recently launched their new informational website. The Livingston County Jail got a mini makeover this week as deputies and offenders painted the walls of the jail bright yellow. Alright, it looks like the uh, the Chillicothe Hornets defeated St. Joseph Bishop LeBlonde for the first time in 10 years. That was on Friday. Uh, since we last spoke, the boys went 1-1. One one. The girls have not had a very good week. They went 
three or O oh, and three rather uh, in all of their contests. The Southwest Lady Wildcats took the CLAA regular season crown in Meadville on Tuesday night. The uh, Meadville boys grabbed the regular season title with a win over Southwest at home. Uh, they also uh, grabbed victories in the uh, the Meadville Invitational Tournament. They won that tournament. Uh, they grabbed a win over state-ranked La Plata in Columbia, and they also uh, grabbed a loss this week. Wait, a loss? No, 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 no wait, that, that can't be right. That can't be right. They're perfect. They're perfect. They're, they're perfect. They're perfect. It's fine. No, they're perfect. They're, they're not perfect. It was a JV loss. It's fine. That does change things. The uh, Chillicothe wrestling team had a, a great season closing week. They uh, picked up wins over South Harrison, Hamilton, Marceline, Butler, and St. Joe Lafayette. And Jam in the Gym will be held tonight, folks. It's in the CHS Gym, and that is in conjunction with the uh, twofer we play uh, versus St. Joseph Benton. So, uh, Head on out and have a nice old time over at CHS. The Livingston County Library will be holding a photo editing class every Tuesday in February. As always, for more information on the news stories you've just seen, check out www.chillicothynews.com or pick up a copy of one of this week's newspapers. For the Constitution Tribune, I'm Drew Van Dyke, and for you, I review the news. Alright, where are we at here?